What's going on guys? Real quick before we start this beer review, I wanted to let everyone know who has been asking. Um, finally got more glassware in. So uh, I have a limited number of these that I will be selling. They are $15 a piece and that includes shipping. So hopefully that's somewhat okay. Um, unfortunately, I'm not a brewery. I can't buy thousands of glasses at a time. So um, very limited number of them. So it'll be first come, first serve. If you would like one, do me a favor, shoot me an email. Um, it is jsenegali at gmail.com. I will leave the email. I'll actually leave the email on the link, but right here too. Um, shoot me an email. In the title of the email, please put glassware. So in case the um, email goes to my junk mail, I can just search my junk mail or my regular inbox for glassware. Um, let me know how many you want. I will respond to you and let you know um, how to make payment. I'm only going to um, use PayPal for these. So hopefully that works out for you guys. But yeah. Um, It'll be first come, first serve. I don't want to just invoice people through PayPal and have them pay. I want to make sure the people who are asking, you know, I, I have enough for people who want them. So, um, yeah, $15 includes shipping. So if you want two of them, it would be $30 shipped, etc., <clears throat> etc., etc. Excuse me. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I appreciate the support. If you guys, like I said, if you want to buy one, let me know. Um, it's fun seeing these being checked in on Untapped the first time we did glassware. People bought them and it's just, I see them like on Instagram and untapped and it's really, really cool. So yeah, shoot me an email, let me know if you want. Sorry for all that nonsense and wasting your time. Let's get on to a beer review, shall we? Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on guys, welcome back to another beer review. Um, home sweet home, finally home from the Thanksgiving travels. Hopefully you guys all had an amazing Thanksgiving week, weekend. I don't know if you guys had time off work or whatever. I had a really, really good time this uh, Thanksgiving holiday. Um, got to visit family in Northern California, went to the Patriots Niners game in Santa Clara. Um, on Wednesday, I got to visit Moonraker. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's the last Road Sodas video that I did. Freaking awesome uh, brewery. That Wednesday night, I got to go downtown Sacramento with my buddy Jared. We went to a Kings game. I got to check out the new Golden One Center. Um, Thanksgiving was spent with the family. My brother-in-law and his wife had their second child, so I got to meet my new nephew on Friday. It was jam-packed with amazingness. So hopefully you guys had as good of a Thanksgiving as I did. So hopefully it was spent with family, people you care about, and beer that you love. So um, I want to talk about a couple things, so sorry if this goes a little bit long, but um, I've been getting comments lately and I love everyone's feedback. It's part of the reason why this channel is fun for me. Um, but recently I've, get, I've been getting feedback um, saying that I've reviewed too many hoppy beers, which I've admitted in the past. Um, someone had said that a lot of my reviews are starting to get the same and that's understandable because a lot of these New England style hoppy beers that I've been reviewing are all hop the same. So they're sort of the same beer, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to try and get away from hoppy beers starting in December. So I still have a couple of hoppy beers I need to review. So I ask you because I care. Um, one, would you mind if I went away from hoppy beers? I know a lot of people that I communicate with, you know, in comments on these beer reviews that I do, they drink hoppy beers like I do. So a lot of them are stoked on hoppy beer reviews. Um, would it be a bad thing if I stopped doing it for a little while or just cut way back? And two, with all the hoppy beers that I have to review still and try to get them done by December 1st, which is Thursday or Friday this week, would it be offensive or piss anyone off if I uploaded multiple reviews a day? Because I could just do that and get them all out of the way. If not, I mean, I can just review them now and wait to upload them later, eh, whatever. Um, but the team here at Jow's Arcade and Beer Reviews cares about your guys' feedback. So let me know. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm thinking that December, I'm going to cut way back on the hoppy beer reviews. I have a fridge full of sours and stouts and porters that have just been sitting there do, just wanting to be drunk. So I should do that. And I really want to drink them. And truth be told, like I've just, I'm kind of getting not burnt out on hoppy beers, but I just, it's this, it, it is, it's the same thing over and over. So, um, I really want to start mixing it up. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, if you, if it would bug you or if you would stop watching, if I went away from hoppy beers, I, I don't want that to happen. Um, and if it would offend you, if I, mul if I uploaded multiple beer reviews a day, just to get through these hoppy beer reviews, um, that I have, I know some people in the past, I've seen other people talk about videos or things that bother them. And people say when, uh, YouTubers upload it, not even in the beer review community, but when people upload multiple videos a day, it kind of gets to be too much. So if that's the case, let me know. Anyways, enough of that. Time for a beer. 
and we're going to go local. Uh, modern times, and look at this fucking sexy can. This is Blam Blam, and this looks like straight Miami Vice 80s porn. Um, this is a 7% alcohol, alcohol by volume India Pale Ale. I believe this is Nelson hopped. I don't know what other hops are in this, but um, it's the latest in the can, special can release series or whatever they call it. They've been doing, I think this is their fourth one. And I think we've, re oh, I didn't review the second, Mage Hand, I didn't review that one, but um, these have been like brown paper tickets releases. People buy them ahead of time, which is awesome. You don't have to stand in line for anything. Um, yeah, this was um, brewed, I think, is it Garage Project? It was a collab that they did with, um, I wanna say some people in New Zealand. I might be wrong about that. I didn't catch the whole story, but um, I think this is primarily Nelson Hopped. It was canned on November 16th, and this, <laughs> this has a can number on it. It's funny, I was talking about modern times and how they were canning their beers, and now they just went next level and said, fuck you, not only do you get a legible date across the middle, but this is can number 03032. So 3032, interesting. I wonder if they're all sequential, that's insane. You guys are stepping your game up, so. Um, I know nothing about this. This was on draft before I went down to try it one time when I was picking up other beers and it was gone by the time I got there. So I didn't get to try it. But I do believe this is brewed in the hazy New England style. And uh, I'm excited for this one, so. Let's go ahead and check her out. We're using our sexual modern times proper glassware. Cause hashtag PGG. And like we always talk about, proper glassware makes beer taste better. It is a fact, so, yep. Pours like, uh, it's like pineapple juice. <laughs> it looks amazing in that glass. Uh, solid, almost two fingers ahead. It's like that eggshell, just super pillowy, fluffy tight pack bubbles. It looks absolutely killer. In that glassware though, I'm telling you. Modern time, I mean, look at this. The glassware, the can art. There, I, I say it all the time. There's nobody at merch or branding that does it better in the craft beer world <laughs> than Modern Times does. That's just a fact, so. Um, yeah, I think, like I said, I think this is primarily Nelson Hop. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it and see what she smells like. So, I don't, there's gotta be other hops in this because it's got that awesome Vinius um, grapey Nelson thing, but there's also tropical fruits. It's like pineapple and mango peaches, but it's got that earthy Vinius thing, like grape skins, dirty grape skin. Um, I will say though, this is a killer balance. There's that awesome, just sweet kind of crackery malty thing that's underneath all that tropical fruit and Nelson. Like, it's not just a straight up juice bomb. Very juicy smelling, but also balanced. I reviewed Underworld Dreams and I, I just, it stuck in my mind how balanced that beer was. It's, it was very juicy, but it was also balanced with the malts and um, just that kind of West Coast vibe that Modern Times always does with these New England style beers. This is just like that. It is though, it's just, it's, it's Nelson and tropical fruits. It is, it's pineapple, mango, there might be some grapefruit in there. It smells absolutely amazing. 7%, no booze, Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Wow, that's, <laughs> that is probably the, what's the best way to describe this? Coolest, balanced, Nelson tropical fruit beer I think I've had. Nelson can get super dry, really, really earthy, vinous, and very grape skin. This has that, but it also has all the tropical fruitiness in there. The pineapple, the peaches, and the mango. It just like melds together perfectly. Um, and there is just a killer, bitter, pithy orange grapefruit thing that's on the back end of that, that kind of is balanced out by the sweet kind of crackery malts. This is fucking killer. Again, it's not like an explosion of just juice where it's just like, this isn't beer, it's juice. It's a killer, just balanced New England style IPA. Like I said, you get all that Nelson characteristic, all the grape skin, the earthiness, and then you get all the killer tropical fruits, but then it says this is a West Coast beer, this was brewed in San Diego. You're gonna get that resinous, like earthy, dank, pithy thing right on the middle of your tongue. Um, it's going to finish super clean, really dry finish on this one. Um, most Nelson hot beers that I, in my experience finish dry like that. Um, 7% though, I mean, it's, <laughs> this is ridiculously crushable. This is a crusher. Um, 
these are the beers that I'm more gravitating toward, towards these days. I appreciate the juice bombs. I mean, I say this in all my reviews, but I love the balance between New England style and West Coast style beers. This is that. This is amazing. Medium mouthfeel. It just finishes so clean. Makes you want to just come back and sip on it. So um, another winner from Modern Times. They're really doing awesome things with these special release cans. Um, I don't think they're really, I don't, I don't really think Modern Times is creating a ton of, uh, I guess they're creating kind of a hype thing by doing these like pre-sale special can releases, but the beer is absolutely just rock solid. So not one of those things where it's like a total hype train and then the beer is a letdown. A lot of people didn't like Mage Hand, but I think the people who didn't like that were expecting something that they didn't advertise. So that's a different story. I've already covered that. So um, as far as this beer goes, this is a world-class San Diego IPA for me. One of the best, um, one of the best New England style beers that's brewed in Southern California. This would stand up, I would imagine, I don't have anything right now, but in like a blind tasting, if you're gonna do something like with Monkish or Cellar Maker, um, something from like Moonraker, all those guys are making killer beers, this would stand up to that, no problem. So this is like 97, 98. It's world class, if you if um, you can get your hands on, if you wanna trade for it, absolutely do it. I wanna I want to say that this batch was a fairly large batch, so it shouldn't be commanding a whole lot in trade, but you'd be absolutely stoked with this beer um, if you're into the kind of New England, West Coast, like awesome meshed, great balance <laughs> type of beer, if there is a thing like that. So yeah, another home run from Modern Times. That was Blam Blam. That can art is amazing. And the beer is <clears throat> fantastic. So if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, and also let me know your thoughts on the other things. We'll get away from hops if it's all right. And uh, if you guys don't mind multiple uploads, let me know. So uh, that's it. I'm out here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.